Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to uh, draw this object in FreeCut. So let's see how it looks in FreeCut. So if you uh, like this design, you can follow my tutorial. So thank you. Okay, so to start, I create a new uh, document. I go to the sketcher with bench. And I create a new sketch in the, uh, the top view. I create a hexagon start from the center I select this point and this point and hit V for vertical constraint I select this point and this point and hit L I set it to 50 also I create a center a rectangle also start from the middle, the center. I select this line and this line and hit E for equal. And also select this line, hit L uh, 70. Now I can close that. Next I create another sketch. Also in the front in the front view. I create a circle in the red line and I select the circle and I set the radius I uh, sorry the diameter to 15 I select this point and I hit L 25 now I can close that Next, I go to the part of bench. I select the circle and I revolve it around the Z axis. Make sure you uncheck the gray solid, uncheck it, and click OK. OK, next we select the sketch and extrude it. Put in here 50 and symmetric. Make sure you check the gray solid because I want to use this one to cut the the torus. And I click OK. All right. Now I select the revolve and control select the issue and just cut it. So now we have something like this next we go back to the sketcher workbench in the sketcher workbench I create a new sketch in the top view and I create three lines one line like this another one and the last one on the red line let me view the section and I select this point, this point, and this line, and I hit S for symmetry constraint. I select this this line and this point, and I set the constraint. This line and this point, and I set the constraint. Also, I select this line and this line, and I set the angle to 60. Okay, make sure these points are outside of the hexagon. Now I can close that. And now I select this sketch 002, go to the product workbench, and I will extrude it to 50, symmetric, and OK. And next I select the cut and control select the issue and I go to part split and slide apart now we have a folder and inside here is uh, six pieces next I go to the drop of branch go to the utility and select plane and I set the top okay click on the top 
and I want to make a copy of uh, this page. I want to make a copy of this and mirror it to the other side. So I have another copy in here. All right, and also I will make this. Uh, I make another copy of this one and mirror it to the other side. I select this page and make sure you um, uh, turn on this uh, snap lock, snap and point, snap middle point, and snap center. Just turn this guy on, and you select this page, and you click on the mirror tool, click on it. And then you click on the first point of the axis you want to mirror. Because I want the axis I want to mirror is uh, this line. So I will select this point and then select this point. I select this point and then select this point. Now you can see we have another piece created. Next I select this piece. And also mirror it. And this time I select this point and then this point. I turn off the grid and I select this page and this space and I click on the upright. You can see in the TV we have a new cell created. Next, I will um, pull polar array this uh, piece to six, uh, six ten. So uh, I select the cell. I go to um, modif modification, array tool, and polar array. And I type in here six, and I click on reset point. This is the center of the rotation. I want it in the center. So I click on the reset point, and I click OK. Now you can see we have something like this. Next, I uh, select uh, the array and shift select one of the slide in here. And I click on the upgrade. Now you can see we have a cell in here. I select the cell and I create a clone of this. So we have another copy of the cell. And I select the clone and I go to the placement and the position and I want to move this one up to in the Z axis 30. And I also want to rotate this one in the Z axis 30 degree. So I click on the axis. You can see in default in the Z axis is one. It's good. Now I type in here the angle if Okay, so the next thing you need to do is I want to connect this circle and this circle with um, a curved surface, a blending surface. First, I go back to the sketcher workbench. And I create a new sketch on the top view. I create a line, start from the center, go out like this. And I, I will uh, reference this uh, line right here to view the section. And I select this point and then this point. I hit edge for horizontal constraint. Okay, now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close that. You can see this uh, new sketch is uh, pointing uh, right in the center of this circle. Next, I want to make a copy of the sketch. I select the sketch and I hit Control C to copy. And just select this cut right here, okay, and you can do V to paste in it. 
I select the new scale and I go to the position. Also, I bring it, this one up to 30. And also, I want to rotate it in the z-axis 30 degree. So you can see another line here. So the next thing you need to do is I want to create a plane curve between this line and this line. Let me rename this guy. So I select this one and I will rename it lower body upper body next I just hide the lower body and the upper body now I go to the surface workbench and the surface workbench I will Control select this line and this line, and I will create a blank curve. I want to bring this new blank curve from here to here, so I select the blank curve and I set the star parameter to 1 and end parameter to 1. And I also want to change the end continuity to 1 and start continuity also to 1 and I set the end side to 10 you can see 10 go inside so I will change it to negative 10 and also start side to 10 okay so now I have a good blending curve uh, between this line and this line let me show the lower body and the upper body. And I will call this plane curve up. Okay. Next, I go to the curve workbench. And the curve workbench, I will as uh, Turn this uh, line and this line to be a joker. So I select this line and this line, and I create a joker. Doing the same down here. Select this one and this one, and joker. Now we have two joker. I select the, the first joker and I turn that into the profile. The Python profile. Click on it. And select the second joker and turn that into the profile. Okay, next I can I control select the path in the viewport and come over here, control select the profile and profile 001 and just by so I click on the pie cell and I go to the data the mod to print it the output should be the surface and the correct to show Next, I go to the drop bench and also I select the pie cell, I go to the top view and I go to modification, orator and polar array and I click on reset point and type in here 6, click OK. Now I hit Shift B to select everything and I go back to the curve workbench and I turn that into the solid I select the solid and hide it it's by bar to hide it and I hit shift B and I select one of this guy and also hide it it's by bar to hide it and I bring back my solid I select my solid and hit Ctrl D 
and I set the material to chrome and also set the shape color decrease the shape color and I hit close and I also select the solid and go to the view I change the deviation down to 0 0.01 0 .01. enter so now this is the final result so thanks for watching